Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a shared calendar on Microsoft Outlook. I'm also going to show you how you can manage this calendar so that you have full control. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So what you want to do from Outlook is go over to the left hand side and we're going to navigate to our calendar. Now from this calendar over here, you can see at the top there is an open calendar and what we want to essentially do here is open up this window and we want to click on create new blank calendar now you'll have to add a name over here so let's call it shared calendar we can now select the folders that it'll contain but we're going to leave it as is so the calendar items and we are going to leave its location right over here Let's click on OK and on the left hand side in this menu under my calendars, you will see that a new calendar has appeared. Now let's make sure that this calendar is ticked. We're going to right click on it and click on share. And here we're going to click on email calendar. Now you'll have a few options. You'll get to change the actual calendar. You'll also get to change the date range that you are sharing and then the details. So if it's availability only limited details or full details you can choose right over here we're going to click on ok this is now just to confirm that you are sending or sharing this specific calendar and you are going to now add the person to whom you are sharing this calendar with and you can change the subject if you'd like but you're going to go ahead and click on send and we can just go there we go and it is now being shared. Now you can see the status over here, right over here, it says shared calendar. This is now being viewed or the access is being granted to the person that you have shared this calendar with. 